Hello, my name is John Bergen, and I am a Mission Valley Ag Educator from Eskridge, Kansas. In my Ag Structures and Electricity class, students uh, cut birdmouth cut. It's a type of rafter uh, that are common cuts made for shed designs, porches, and other load, low load-bearing uh, roof applications. In my uh, Ag Structures class, the most recent application of this was students made a playhouse. Uh, students calculate the rafter cuts and how these uh, and where to cut the heel and where to also cut the top of the rafter. There's a lot of math involved with this and a little bit of error can create us a lot of, a lot of problems. I teach students the math behind this uh, and how to use a rafting square. But sometimes it's also important to also be able to apply a quick application like they do in industry using a uh, rafter calculator. These are readily available on the internet. ConstructionResource.com has a lot of different calculators. Uh, the Rafter Angle Calculator is the one that I use most, uh, but there are several other applications that students or uh, ag teachers or just local contractors and, and farmers can find underneath here, uh, as well as homeowners. What I really like about this one is it for the Rafter Length, it shows um, exactly what the kids are looking for. Here's your Rafter Length peak uh, to bird mouth and then your distance uh, from bird mouth hip and then actually your width. So that helps students with your input values. Uh, instruct students over here to understand your input values. They have to be taught the math of how this works uh, longhand before they're able to understand any of this shorthand. So this is not a replacement for uh, for teaching longhand, it's a tool to help them do it quicker in the check work. Uh, for instance, on roof pitch, that's the relationship between rise over run. So for every 12 inches of run, how many inches of rise we have. So if we have a 3 inch rise, this basically means we have a 25% uh, slope. Then we also have ridge uh, width. And this is going to be reported in terms of inches. Uh, so if we were going to have a 10 foot uh, span in a wall, like a shed from outside wall to outside wall, that would be 120 inches. You can also go down to fractions, uh, and on your tape measure, the smallest uh, fraction is going to be a 16th of an inch in most applications, and so therefore you can report it in the closest 16th of an inch. So if you, for instance, have uh, it's 120 and a half inches, Rather than putting a zero here, you're going to put in an eight. Um, and then you also have your overhang. Your overhang is listed right here, and that is to be listed in decimal feet. So six inches would be half a foot. You compute the information, and as you can see, it's going to give you all the information that you need here, uh, including the length from the bird mouth cut, uh, to the heel, and then the from the bird mouth to the peak. It's going to give you your rafter length and then actually the angles of these cuts. Uh, so students can use this information to be able to uh, make these cuts uh, and it gives them another application to show how to do it versus using a, a rafter square uh, to figure this out solely or to do in the math longhand. Um, I believe that uh, teachers should be using uh, all applications because that's going to help reinforce knowledge uh, uh, for students differently. So in this video we learn how to make bird mouth cuts using a free uh, construction calculator. The resources and the standards for this project are listed. Uh, standards covered include ITSE Teacher Standard 1B and TPAC Standard TK 1.0.